Hello and welcome back to the channel. This lecture is all about the big data tools that you will use if you are starting your journey in the world of big data. In the last lecture we have seen all about the major benefits of big data and how they are helping large as well as small industries to analyze and study the market trends. So from this lecture we will see the basic tools involved in the big data. So without further ado let's get into it. So as you already aware that big data is simply too large and complex data which you cannot deal with using some traditional data processing method just like OLAP which is online analytical processing. So it requires a set of tools and techniques for analysis to gain insights from it. So there are a number of big data tools that are available in the market right now. And the most familiar is Hadoop which helps in storing and processing large data. As well as we have a Spark which is really popular which helps in memory calculation. Also we have Storm which helps in faster processing, Apache Cassandra, MongoDB and so on. So here is the list of top 6 big data tools that you should know about. So those are Apache Hadoop, Spark, Storm, Cassandra, MongoDB and Kafka which we are going to see one by one in detail. But before going forward, there are some few factors you have to consider while opting for any of these tools such as the size of the data set, the pricing of the tool and the kind of analysis you want to be done on that data. With the exponential growth of big data, the market is also flooded with various tools. So these tools used in big data will help bringing a better cost efficiency and also it will increase the speed of the analysis. So the first and the most important tool which we use in big data which is Apache Hadoop. So Hadoop is one of the most popularly used tools in big data industry right now. So it is an open source framework which is developed by Apache and which runs on a commodity hardware. So commodity means cheap and easy to replace. So it is used for storing and analyzing big data. So Hadoop is written in Java and it enables parallel processing of data as it works on multiple machines simultaneously. So it uses the cluster technology which is a group of systems that is connected via LAN. So basically it has three parts. First is a HDFS which is known as Hadoop distributed file system which uses for storing the data of Hadoop. Another one is MapReduce which is used for data processing and YARN which is used for resource management. So we will see all about Hadoop in our separate tutorial which is dedicated to Apache Hadoop. So for now you just have to remember that it is a most popular tool used in the big data and is used for processing and analyzing huge amount of data which is nothing but big data. So everything that had been developed comes with some disadvantages also. So Hadoop also has their disadvantages. The first one is it does not support real time processing. So it only pro supports the batch processing and it cannot do a in-memory calculation. So to tackle this problem we have another tool which is Apache Spark. So Apache Spark can be considered as a successor of Hadoop as it overcomes the drawbacks of it that we have just discussed. So unlike Hadoop it supports real-time processing as well as the batch processing. So it is totally depend on the amount of data and the type of data that you need to deal with. So it is a general purpose clustering system. And it also supports in-memory calculation which makes it a way faster than Hadoop. So this is made possible by reducing the number of read per write operations into the disk. So it provides more flexibility and versatility as compared to Hadoop. Since it works with different data storage such as HDFS, OpenStack and Cassandra. So now our third tool is Apache Storm. So Storm is an open source big data tool which is distributed real time and fault tolerant processing system. It efficiently processes unbounded streams of data. So by unbounded streams we refer to that data which is ever growing and has beginning but not defined end. So it is very useful for a growing business which is in early stage and we can't predict how much data it will need to analyze in the future. So the biggest advantage of it is it can be used with any other programming language and it further supports JSON based protocols which means the processing speed of Storm is very high and it easily scalable and also fault tolerant which makes it a very easy to use tool. But on the other hand 
it guarantees the processing of each data set its processing speed is rapid and a standard observed was as high as million tuples process per second on each node our next tool is apache cassandra so cassandra is a distributed database which provides high scalability as well as availability without compromising the efficiency so it is one of the best tools which can accommodate all types of data sets which could be structured semi structured or unstructured so i hope you already know what are the types of data sets and the difference between them if not just refer our full course playlist dedicated to data warehouse system so coming back to cassandra it is the perfect platform for mission critical data with no single point of failure and which provides a fault tolerance on both commodity hardware and the cloud infrastructure so it works quite efficiently under heavy loads and it does not follow the master slave architecture so all the nodes will be at same role so this was all about the apache cassandra our next tool is mongodb so it is a open source data analytic tool which provides cross platform capabilities so it is useful for a business which needs a fast moving and a real time data for taking quick decisions so it is a perfect for those who want data driven solutions so it is easier to install and maintain which makes it a user friendly tool and it is reliable as well as cost effective so there are so many benefits of mongodb it is written in c c++ and javascript and it is one of the most popular databases for big data as it will facilitate the management of unstructured data or the data which will change frequently but a certain downfall in the processing speed has been noticed for some use cases so you have to remember this point clearly and now our last tool in this list is apache kafka so kafka is a open source platform which is created by linkedin in the year 2011 so i hope you know about what is linkedin platform and i hope you already have an account on it so kafka is a distributed event processing or a streaming platform which provides high throughput to the system so it makes it a very efficient to use and can handle trillions of events a day so it is a streaming platform which means it is highly scalable and it also provides a great fault tolerance so the streaming process includes publishing and subscribing to streams of records alike to the messaging system after that storing these records durably and then processing these records and this particular records are stored in a group which is called as topics so at the last it offers a high speed streaming and guarantees zero downtime so it is really helpful for an application which has high amount of streaming data and which is critical to the customers as it will promises a zero downtime so this was all about the best tools used in big data so if you have any question in it just mention in the comment below So if you like this lecture please subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media that i have linked in the description below thanks for watching